Mm-hmm. Hey, just a live podcast, baby. The most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All good. right. Everybody's good. We're recording. Everybody good. Feeling yeah. good. Water only. Another Saturday in the books. A little tempranito. Mm-hmm. Jen off the gym vibe. Yeah. So sh- all about that healthy life. Huh? About the healthy like, life. Look. Why? Every, every, everybody right now is on a gym on a gym yeah. uh, journey right now. Except me. But we're good. Wow. I mean, you go occasionally. Yeah, I guess yeah. that kind of counts. Occasionally. Gotta wow. <laughs> pew, pew. Got to get on the program with Pepe. You know, the last time we trained, Jose, I kind of hated you. Yeah, and true. I think our relationship wasn't working because I hated you at the same time. That's why it's online, so you don't have to look at my face. That's good. But I want to see your face. I do, too. Hey, <laughs> hey <laughs> keep drinking some water. We got it. Everybody, it's it. if it's early in the morning, listen to this, in the afternoon, whatever, a toast. If you have coffee, if you have water, whatever you're having, a toast. A toast. Whatever you have in that cup, Genesis. It's water. Mm, okay. <laughs> you know it's tequila or something because Jesus no. Christ. No. <laughs> a little like, bit of wine it. already? Hey, a cup of wine. I think that, that fits bad. a bottle, right? Isn't it good for your heart? A, a wine? cup of wine a I night? Think. I don't know. I get white girls. I sit every time I do wine. It's so. good for your, like, your, I don't know. Something. <laughs> something. It's, 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 good it's good for something. It's good for something. The circulation yeah. system. <laughs> the circulation. <laughs> circulation. Nah, but shout out to Becca for giving us the... Putting, giving us a perspective that our internal podcasts have always been really great when our guy Pepe has came up with some questions for us and has directed us in the right direction some way, somehow. So, Pepe, can you please do his honors? Wow, that's crazy. I wasn't thinking I was going to do it. Actually. <laughs> like, no, gonna uh, all of a sudden, all of a Hold sudden. <laughs> pulls, out, pulls out questions. Pulls got the pulls paragraph out. right there. He's like, that's a whole ass I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Hold up. <laughs> scroll, scroll. Which which books. which one of the seventy three questions do we start with? <laughs> seventy three questions. No, I think uh, we're gonna take a little bit uh, a little bit back because yeah. I feel like it's kind of a new year. Uh, we haven't really had a decent internal, at least in the sense that we all answer the questions truthfully, honestly, and we're actually together. Yeah. I think this is the first time in a long time that we're all back together. Yeah. Right? Becca, pull up a chair. Actually, pull, yeah, pull up a chair, crazy. Becca. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, you need to pull up a chair. Yeah, pull up a chair right here. I think the first time we were actually all together is when we went to campsite. That was yeah. the first yeah. time we yeah. were all together. It was needed. Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> it was really needed. I Loki, I don't know about you here, guys. Over here, Becca. I, I did get a little buzzed so, I know you want to. I know you want to sit next to your man, but not today. Uh-huh. He's mine for today. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, There's enough of me to share around. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. Sharing is caring. It's okay, or I don't like white boys. Uh, <laughs> no comment. Let's just. I like that. No dark comment. Dark chocolate. It's that's good for your crazy. heart. Jeez. Dark chocolate? Dark I chocolate. hope your dad is not listening to this podcast. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Shout out to Genesis' dad, man. I know. All right, Pepe. It is, bro. Where are no, we going? I mean, we're going back. We're going old school. What has been going on in your life recently that you expected and you didn't expect? Because I haven't asked that question in a minute. And I feel like we've all been going through a lot of shit recently. That let's give the audience, I guess, an idea of what we're going through and where we're at. Yeah. So who wants to start it? We go that way. I'm barely even here half the time. My mental state is like everywhere. Um, I'm just, you know, going through school now, working. So my hour, my days are like 13, 14 hour days. Um, But yeah, I'm just focusing on school right now, you know, doing what I got to do. It's honestly, it feels good. I haven't been to school in like five years. So for me, just getting into that groove again of studying and just learning and like containing everything. It's, I don't know. I really, I really like to learn like just new things I've never thought about before. And then it just makes me feel so productive nowadays. Like, yeah. and I just can't wait for like what I have the future going. Like yesterday I did my first ever facial on my best friend, like outside of school. And it felt so weird, but it was so amazing. I was like, wow, like not even we're barely three weeks in and I can already do like so many stuff already. And it's like, so what are, cool. what are you going to school for? Yeah. To clarify that for the people watching yeah. and, and seeing what, like to kind of keep an update on what your life looks like or what you're doing mm-hmm. behind the scenes. What are you going to school for? What are you working on? And what are you trying to work towards too? So at the moment, um, I'm going to school. I'm going for my esthetician license. So it's more in the beauty, the beauty side of it. Thank you. Um, however, that's not where I want to be at. Um, that's just 
the first step. My ultimate goal, obviously, like I still work in the medical field. So my overall goal is eventually to be able to work at a med spa as an RN and eventually be able to do like um, injections, Botox, stuff like that, like more going to plastic surgery. So do you ever see yourself starting your own practice? Or is that like way, way, way down the line? That's that's a goal definitely i feel like it's hard to see that right now just because it feels so unrealistic of course but definitely taking this first step of just going back to school it's like maybe i can do this like i'm you know i'm still, i'm barely 24 you know i'm turning 25 yeah oh my god it makes me feel so old but it makes me feel like i need to get the ball rolling now yeah, like of course, after yeah. this it's only a six-month program so after this, I'm like honestly willing and like thinking about just going yeah. straight into our end and just doing it. Like, cause honestly, like I'm having so much fun with it. I'm falling in love with it. Like, oh, yeah. I'm excited. Congratulations! Congratulations on the new journey, Bebe. Has your year? What have you gone through so far in this year that you anticipated and you didn't anticipate? I haven't anticipated anything this year. You can't be disappointed if you don't expect anything. And that goes from life and people, you know. Oof. So I think this year it's just more of just taking everything as it comes and everything that's happening. I mean, I didn't expect to also kind of start my health journey. I didn't expect to. There's a lot of stuff going on at work. I was almost unemployed this week. (laughs) I was not expecting that. I know someone in the unemployment realm. Hey, I mean, I'm like, I already asked her for notes. I already asked for notes. No, but I think just life in general right now. I don't expect anything. So yeah. everything that's happening, it's just yeah. crazy. I feel like you've been pri- prioritizing yourself. Like how you said, yes. you started your fitness journey. And then just like how you have changed from last year to this year, you just, I feel like you are pri- prioritizing yourself a lot more. Yeah. And you don't even realize that. Yeah. But at yeah. least I see it. I'm not sure if you guys see it. No, yeah. yeah you're, you're being very picky and very selfish in the areas that you finally needed to. So it's just like if it fits you, cool. And if it doesn't. Then I'm You're, out. It's out. Yeah. So obviously, like the fitness journey. Shout out to Prime Strength for yes, for Drake, hooking, hooking up hooking up that that deal right there for the fitness training. <laughs> so, but so that's what like even now for Jose, like that question there is, how has your training for powerlifting affected you mentally and emotionally throughout this year already? Oh, dude! Like I feel like prep has been the best it's ever been. I've got a new coach. Everything's going great. Body weight's perfect. Like, it's the best I've ever felt. Mentally, it's just always draining. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm in a cut. Obviously, I like drinking. I can't even take a drink right now. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll it, it's been mentally, We'll take a sip to that. <laughs> it's been mentally draining. Um, obviously, like, outside stuff. Drink. And then trying mm-hmm. to, like, put this as a priority. Not not the podcast. Like, the my training and stuff. Yeah. Just having my training be a priority, that's always hard. But then also, like, oh, I'm at the gym. Out of like twenty hours, okay, cool. Like, I have to like deal with my own thoughts and like stuff like that. But at least for now, it's like a good little escape, you know. Yeah, of course. Do you find it hard separating? Cause you're obviously like you're one. You're doing the physical part yourself, like you're into prep, but you're also getting a whole bunch of other people like into their preps and all that. Yes. Do yes. you find it hard separating like job, like the business side of it of with your own personal like relationship with the gym and all that? Yeah, um that it's it's kind of, that's a good question because not a lot of people are coaches and athletes themselves. Some, sometimes it's either one or the other, but it's like I tend to feed off their wins and their success. Mm-hmm. Even though it reflects back to me, I I love to see them win and then that positive energy reflects back to me. So it's like, all right, I can't, I can't be down and let them see me like that, because I'm expecting them not to be that way as well. Mm-hmm. I need to lead as an example. You're right? leading, but yeah, and you're leading by example. Yeah, There's yeah. so many people that are gonna tell you and paint you a picture of how to do things, but they're not doing them. So you that are in that fitness journey, like bro, you're putting your body through hell, squatting over 500 pounds, deadlifting over five, six, and like you're leading by example. So it's just like, if I could do it. I'm sure my athletes can do it. Yeah, exactly. my, my second family can do it because your community is your family. Exactly. And how you said you feed off of them. So, bro, that's amazing. That's beautiful. Excited for you to, to go and showcase your, your hard work next week. Sir, so Sacramento, Sacramento, we, he's in the house. <laughs> I'll be inside you sack. 
What? <laughs> Sa- Sacramento. What? Sacramento. Sacramento. I, knew, I, knew, I knew that's where it was going. Yeah. I, was, I said, I'm yeah. waiting for the I'm in you. I'm in you, yeah. I'm in you. Not surprised. All right, Becca. Becca has a question for you. Damn, you forgot the question already. Huh? No, I want you. You, have, you ask it pretty yeah. good. That's why. Your I voice. Your question. voice. Your voice. What has been going on in your life recently that you expected and you didn't expect? And we know the answer, but the yeah. audience doesn't know the Aww, answer. Oh, so I have to tell my secrets? I'm just just a little bit. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, I, I was going to post about it anyways, but I was going to do it as part of my February dump. But I was going to wait until like March. March 15th. Yeah. Of course. Because I think we're still a little bit early, right? Anyways. Um, so I passed my LVN test, which I had been studying for like crazy. Girl, you're going to have to help we me. We employed. I know. <laughs> I, so I start work Monday. We so I was only unemployed, you guys, for... <laughs> Two weeks. I don't know. Since the nineteenth. Damn, you didn't even get that first. Oh, oh it's almost gonna. It's on. almost. You can't file for unemployment. My license expired. Oh, that's crazy. You weren't fired. Damn. I wasn't fired. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> hired her. Yeah. <laughs> well, Barely. yeah. So, anyways, She's my license. <laughs> we're on probation. <laughs> but, right yeah, now. we're on. Pro- we're all on probation we're right on now. Probation. We're all on probation. So yeah, I passed my state test. Um, I failed it once, which. A lot of people don't talk about their failure failures when it comes to like the NCLEX um, because it's really like obviously embarrassing, whatever. But um, yeah, I took it once in October. I failed it. I 100 percent was not prepared for it. I really went into that test in October, like with the mindset of just I wanted to see what the experience was like. And that's kind of the way I work is I have to like experience something first and then I'll nail it the next time. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I knew that the next time I would do good. But the test is so hard that like. It, it like messes with you a little bit, you know? So because the test is like, it works with you. You really don't know if you're doing good or bad. It just continues and it continues. And you don't know if it's continuing because you're doing good or if you continue because you're doing bad. So every question, any question could be the last question, but any question could also lead you to another question. So you just don't really know. So thankfully I passed it with 86 questions. So basically my 85th question was my last question. My last, the 86th question was like the last one or whatever, like the cherry on top, I guess. But yeah, I passed it. It was a very stressful 48 hours because they literally don't tell you for 48 hours. You have to wait until it updates in the system. Like there's, there is like cheat ways to do it, but they've also updated those cheat ways. So I literally had to sit in my thoughts for 48 hours, like refreshing my emails for 48 hours. And the uncertainty is what kills you, Oh, right? 100%. Because then I'm like suddenly thinking of all the questions and I'm like, I, did I answer that one right or wrong? Or is that the one that put me over the edge? Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot. So yeah, thankfully I passed. So I start working as an LVN on Monday. Yeah, hey, we are. Congrats, yeah. that's right. Thanks, yeah. Y'all. Becca is going to sponsor the next po- uh, sh- uh, episode. I mean, she was about to the sponsor whole, then, my, <laughs> what was it, my Thailand trip? <laughs> Thailand <laughs> trip. Sugar Mama, what's up? She's going she's gonna to sponsor the next San Diego trip. Yes, so sir. Whenever I get fired. I got to sponsor my uh, car. Like Chingon will be inside you. <laughs> what's up with you? And I'll be yeah. inside you, bro. <laughs> Damn. will be inside things. I don't know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Man, that was a good question. Definitely. Question. What about you? Fall. What about you? Oh. Did you have an answer? You were ready to skip it. I was. I was. Oh, I know. I think the, what I didn't anticipate is the changes. You know, I think when you enter a whole new year, you enter with high hopes of, hey, I know it's going to be this way. And nothing prepares you for the hiccups. Nothing prepares you for the little stumbles, the, you know, the fallbacks. You know, we're just, we're speaking a little bit before this about, you know, falling to like a little spiral once again. And, you know, I wasn't prepared for the little spiral once again. But now I have to do that internal work of, like, what's happening? Why is this happening? And I know it happens when change happens. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good with change. I'm not good with problems. I'm not good with the back and forth. I want to avoid it at all costs because I know when I need to em- embrace that, I know the change is coming and I'm not used to it. I'm not ready for it because I want, I like this. I love this. But... I know when, I mean, I know Genesis has always said this and we can agree to this, like God prepares you for the next chapter, but he's going to, he's going to mess some things up right away Mm -hmm. and you have to be ready for it some way, somehow. So when everything falls apart, it's because you need to find yourself once again throughout that journey to be the better version because I can't be ready for this next step if I don't get over this one. 
Exactly. So you can't move on if you're stuck in the same place. Yeah. So he's gonna remove people. He's gonna remove situations. He's gonna remove items out of your life. Yeah. So you can be ready to embark this next chapter. And we know how crazy life is the last couple months that one day, one week, it could be horrible. And then the next week, boom, you get a blessing. We're on a high and we're like, all right, cool. But unfortunately, at the time, it's like I can everything is perfect, but I don't know why I feel so sad around things or why I feel empty. Like, oh, this is amazing. But damn, why can't I smile? Like, I actually smile to it. But again, I put my faith in God. I put my trust in him. I know the journey that's about to come. And whatever is meant to be will be. And it's going to be okay at the end of the day. So, I mean, Jen said it, right? There's a blessing in the redirection. Yeah. Of course. And yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, it may suck, but it was meant to happen. Yeah. Whatever's meant to happen, yeah. it's going to happen. Most well, definitely. So, it's good, man. I mean, with everything, every change, there's a blessing in it. I just gotta, we just got to find it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not... Uh, envious of anything or anyone i just know like this is a journey and it's okay we've been through the good we've been through the bad and we've been through the beautiful and the ugly and we've seen everything we know we know what's coming after this so just yeah, being patient just being patient but that was a good question that's a good start of a question that's a good i'm telling you man the pepe i'm telling you man <laughs> Oh, yeah. She said it. She said, she said it. it. Okay, we got to give her credit to Becca. Hey, we'll give her credit. We'll give her credit. She hey. made her probation is is on still. So we, we're writing we're writing we're these down. Probation. Come on, there. we're writing these down right now. All right, she's taking notes. We got to we'll give that a we'll this. give that a seven point five. <laughs> All right, Bevin. Number two. Let's Number do this. Two. No, and I was gonna ask Jose, but I wanted everybody else to answer uh, the first question. How do you guys find balance with everything going on in your life? How do you know what to prioritize and what can wait a little bit? So you were asking me? <laughs> I was going to ask you in the oh, middle of okay, it, but okay. I didn't want to interrupt you. But you can answer it first. Yes, go for it. Um, I feel like a lot of our guests, well, not a lot. Some of our guests had answered that question as well, saying that there's no balance. And I kind of agree with that, too. Like, there, there is no balance. Like, I, at least for me personally, like, you need to be able to handle everything and then... As, as, sucks, as bad as it sounds, try and put yourself in the back burners until your priorities get taken care of. I like to deal with taking care of my people, taking care of my business, taking care of what I need to do, and then get a little break, self-reflect. I'm like, okay, I take care of myself. Now back to, to the grind, right? Back yeah, of to course. what I need to take care of my responsibilities, right? So I don't have that much of a balance because I tend to feed off just keep on going i think too to like just feed off of that there is no balance mm -hmm. like you have to realize and you have to be you have to see if everything and what's in your life and you have to see what can you sacrifice i'm gonna sacrifice my mental stability <laughs> so i can put everything in intact in, in entrepreneurship there's no there's no balance at all because you're gonna put effort in, and attention to one thing but you know if you put it to one thing the other three, four, five things you had in your life are going to be left alone for a little bit or not a, not a much attention or as they say, oh, you're here, but you're really not present. So like now you're dealing with either you have someone in your life that you're not paying attention to or it's not fitting your schedule or maybe you're not the at 100 percent for them. We're not showing up. So it's like, hey, like I'm in the process of growing and building something. I apologize and I'm very sorry, but. I know I need to do this. And it, and it gets tough. So I think with having, like, the, the friendships that we have, like, each one of us knows firsthand we put attention into one thing, we're going to let go of something, and it's very hard because now we're dealing with the repercussions of not paying too much attention to one thing or a couple things. It's like, oh, you can't go out because you're editing or you can't go out because you're studying or you can't go out because you're yeah. doing something. Oh, like, you need those people – in your group to understand that and have that structure as well. So yeah. now what happens when the people in your group don't understand that? It's, it's tough. They're not meant for you. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe it's just uh, the timing. And right? I think that plays a, a, a lot. lot, right? I think it's just it's a timing. huge role. Yeah, the it may timing. be the right people, but the timing's just completely off. Yeah. Like, because I think the hard part, understanding when you have friend, friends that are similar to you, that are wanting more, want to do more, and want to grow, or everybody's going to embark on a journey on their own. We just don't know what that looks like until it comes. 
So it could be we're all this in this together, but hey, like we said, it's it's always great to branch off. But I don't know that when you go that way, that's gonna take a lot more time and energy, and st- you're gonna have to put ten times more energy into that, and you're gonna have to lose on this for a little bit. So it's just like, where's that balance? Do you keep a friendship, or do you have some sort of resentment because they're leaving you? And it's like I, I've said it before, and you guys heard of me. I can't keep friends and business separated because my friends are my business. My business are my friends. So it's like, I love you guys and I want to grow with everybody. But it's like, how can we do it all together? And how can we find that middle point? Where is the middle point? So I think as a collective, you have to get to that. <clears throat> hey, this, I'm here. You're here. This is here. Okay, how do we all meet? Or what's, what's that one common denominator that we can all meet in? And it's a... Uh, it's a conversation no one wants to have. I know I don't, but... But that's the point, right? Communication. Communication goes a long way. I'm horrible at communication. Oh, why? We no, yeah, we know. I mean, let's let's keep it real. I think we've all been pretty bad at communicating these past couple of weeks. 100%. If we're being you have two phones, bro. You have no excuses. He's got three, my you boy. You got two phones? Oh, you got three. Oh, you got three phones. got three phones. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's like, I think we've all been bad at communicating. and we've you don't have minutes, been, huh? You don't have minutes on your phone? I ran out of minutes. Oh, yeah. Tragic. <laughs> my, hey, my boost mobile. Uh-huh. Boost mobile. So I got I, the views be down, huh, yeah. guys? Make sure you share all our videos. <laughs> we, need the we need the funds. No, but it's crazy communication, yeah. and I think we all need to work on it. And I think. Uh, but what happens when you do communicate with that person, and that person no longer sees it as um as you do trying to better yourself and more of an excuse? So like. Yeah. That's where it's tricky, right? Both parties have to be like, open and receptive. Yeah. That's the thing. I think you're gonna have to a lose lot of on the something. times it's yeah. I mean, people go into conversations okay, but like who these. Who loses though? Who loses in up. the situation, right? Both. Like the person that's branching out and try to do their own thing, or the. I I think it's I think it's in both, right? Like, it's I'm both. A, if I'm, you don't know how to yeah. separate it, right? Like, I mean, I'm gonna lose somebody because they're gonna branch out, but that person is gonna also lose in a sense of working in that same space together but it's the understanding part how jose is saying hey power to you i love you i i cheer for you i'm proud of you i hope down the line we can re-meet in this space that we're in together but it's again like i can't expect jose to come and party with us when next week is this is this competition so imagine we self-sabotage him for next week we're gonna do it when he's don't going out with us tonight, don't, 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 don't tell me twice. <laughs> so it, don't say it in capital letters, guys. <laughs> now, nah, but I feel like um, with the communication, like there's there's a way to communicate. You need to know how to communicate within their language as well, because I felt like I could communicate, but my communications or me saying something to you may come off wrong in your way or in your way. I mm-hmm. can say something to you and you, and one of you is gonna take it one way, and you're gonna take it the other way you need to learn how to talk to that person and come out in a neutral ground, right? So what happens when that person doesn't listen, though? Because I think you can hear it, you can say it, but the listening part is where it gets tricky. What's that saying? You, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make a drink? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So you can tell them everything, you can tell them, or, you, you, everything you're feeling, but if yeah. they ain't willing to listen, then mm-hmm. they ain't willing to listen. Yeah. What about when you see someone's talent and potential, but yet they don't see it in themselves? How do you handle that as a friend? I think, and I think we've said it before. I mean, we've told each other we're talented, we're gifted, we're capable of doing great things as a, alone, right? It's going to be easier together. And obviously we all want to work together, but there's going to be times that it may just not happen. And I think it's just accepting that maybe we're not meant to all go together all at the same time. It doesn't mean we can't all come back together and be great together, you know? And I think that's what it is. It's more of a, hey, right people, wrong time. And I think we've also talked about, like, pouring into somebody's cup. Like, there's only so much you can pour into someone's cup. And then until it's, you know. You know, you want to pour it back into yourself. Yeah. But it's, like, feeling like when you do, it's, like, that other person is kind of, like, well, why are you doing that for? Yeah, we definitely talked about the pouring cup thing. You can only pour so much. You, you can feeling, only big guy. So what you feeling? Why are you dying? Why are you crying? What you feeling? How are you feeling? Talk to us. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> You're really crying. Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm about to take a shot for you. How are you feeling? Talk think, about it. I think it's just that, bro. Like, uh, knowing you want to win with the people that have been there to save you and help you so much. But knowing like you're about to enter a whole new chapter of like, hey, we may not be in this next chapter altogether, but fuck, I'm cheering for you forever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's tough, dog. Like we're trying to get into a whole new, a whole new level, a whole new uh, position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just knowing that it, man, this next chapter may just not in- like it could. You could have been here. Like it just may not include everybody, but it's be, but it's at the same time it's like, hey, you ask me something, nah, man, I owe them my life, because without the group that we have on this table, my life would not be the same, and I wouldn't even be present to be quite frank with y'all. So it's like, yeah, it's tough. It's been hurting, but it's like, man, we're venturing off into something great individually. Mm-hmm. So I'm like. Man, I'm proud of you clapping, but at the back, it's like that parent that's so proud when you're crying and you're like, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, it's cool though, because we got that friendship, you know what I'm saying? It's not like before where like you lose somebody, you're like, man, F this, F that, like whatever it is. Everything that come with. Yeah, everything that come with. Here it's like, shit, come home, we here, <laughs> the kids are waiting for you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> kids are waiting <laughs> No, my miss. <laughs> no, my miss. Maybe it was just the water, bro. I don't know. The water. Yeah. Is the exactly. water got it's you. the it's water. It's the water from Kanye. Yeah. Y'all should try it. That top water, it helps. That top water. Uh, question three. Here we go. Well, still question two. They, Becca didn't answer. How do you know what to prioritize? <laughs> Come on, little mama. Wait. Um, and how to get, it, like, how to what? What was the last thing? Uh, what? You, how to decide what you prioritize. Yeah. And what can wait? Oh, and what can wait? Um... I mean, me personally, I had to obviously, like, reevaluate everything when I was studying for my test. So I literally had to, like, drop everything and everyone that I did anything for that was not beneficial to me. Okay. And my time, like, my rut- my studying routine or whatever. So unfortunately, like, I had to stop helping my sister with her kids because that was just taking way too much energy for me to, even though, like, I can sit there and study while I'm watching them, it still takes energy to yeah, of course. Watch kids. Like, it sounds like... No, kids are a handful. Yeah. So, I really have to, like, step back from helping, like, my family out because I, I just... I couldn't. You said. I had to, like, prioritize myself and, like, my silence, basically. Like, my alone time and everything. Because, again, even though the kids are just there doing their thing, it still wasn't silent in my head. Like, I needed it to be complete silence for me to be able to sit and study. Of course. So, I had to, like, cut out... Unfortunately, like the kids, you know, and like the help that I was giving my Sorry. sister. <laughs> so I go to coffee shops. Like, F them kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they're not mine anyways. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I have to like uh, stop helping my sister, stop helping my parents, like even just run the small errands. I was just like, I, I literally could not. I started going on runs because that was helping me like clear my mind. And it was giving me extra energy to instead of having a coffee or an energy drink, I can just... After the run, I can sit there and study. Yeah, she's a it runner. Was like, she's a track star. It was a okay, song. Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. I know what love is. <laughs> this is like We're love's like a off. box of La- chocolate. Yeah, you never life know what you'll get. Yeah. Oh, life's like a box. Life, of- yeah. So, um, like, love too. Love I really love have too. to like step back <laughs> and like think what was what what goal was I trying to reach at that moment or for that time, right? And I had to remove the factors that weren't helping, I guess. Or anything that was kind of getting in the way of me reaching that goal. Now, I'm going to hit you side of it. Do you feel bad for now prioritizing yourself when everybody says you need to help, you need to help, you need to help? So now that you're prioritizing yourself and helping yourself, do you feel some type of way or a little bit bad for prioritizing you? I only felt bad for, like, missing out on those that time with the kids. Because the babies, she's a baby, so it's, like, anything is, like, a big deal, you know? So, like, I just felt bad for missing out on the, what, like, two months, three months that I was studying. Um, I don't feel bad for prioritizing myself because, bitch, look at where the fuck I'm at now. So, like, I feel like I deserved it, you know? Like, I worked really uh, hard. I went to school for it. hell of time. I, like, I worked full time. I went to school full time. I took care of my niece full time, like... 
I was doing three jobs when I didn't have to. But I was, I feel like I already helped my family where I needed to help them, which was, you know, the first year of the baby's life, basically, and with the other kids, too. So prioritizing myself, I was not scared. I didn't feel bad. I just, I knew it was, like, a, something I had to do for myself. I love what you said, though. <laughs> yeah because look at where I'm at like mm-hmm. and no one can take that away from me the kids my sister can grab the kids and go you know no one can take away my license from me now like that's the one thing I have for myself that's right um, oh, yeah. this was her last episode here because she's about to go make us bank that's right. <laughs> she, we're gonna be sponsored by it sponsored by Becca <laughs> She's What's no longer mean? gonna be on the pod, but she's still a part of the pod. Either way, she's gonna be an investor now. I know. <laughs> she's she's like, let me invest. She's like, Girl, yeah, let we me need start it. work on Monday first. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so know if I'll make it. So two weeks. It. <laughs> what about you, Jen? What was the question? <laughs> what was the question? How do you know what to prioritize and what can wait in your life? Um, for me right now, how I prioritize, obviously, I am going to school that's one thing that's like no like i paid to get in like this is what i want to do for my not just like for is this my career so that's definitely something i'm prioritizing um the way i prioritize honestly i just pray i ask god like if this is for me let me know if it's not for me give me the heart and just like heal me for letting this thing go whether it's a thing or a person i feel like the last couple of weeks, that's kind of been like showing up more and more where it's like, oh, I have a lot of people walking out my life right now, but everything is going right with school. So it's like he's showing me what I need to let go for what I need to do and what I need to put forward right now at the moment. So that's how I'm going about it. Just, you know, talking to God and asking him, like, what's my next step? Like, I'm going to rely everything on you. Like, what's my next step? If it's this, you're going to help me make the time for it. If it's you know, doing some other stuff or whatever it is, it's just asking God, like, if this is for me, you're going to provide me the tools, the knowledge to go about it. Okay. Pepe, how do you prioritize now in your life? I'm just putting myself first now, actually. Do you feel bad for putting yourself first? I did for a while, but I also realized that other people didn't feel bad for putting me in that position. So it was more of a, you know what, I'm giving you my all and you can't understand that I don't have time. Then if you don't understand, then it's like, all right, cool. You're going to have to learn to understand and do things without me because I ain't got time for that. So that part. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's He's right now. He's it's like, like respectfully. respectfully, respect. I still love you, but yeah. I don't got time for you. Same. It was like that. Um, the one, what the I, baby. I'm just kidding. What I, what I showed you. Um, what I showed you earlier. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 It's crazy. Okay, go. Keep going. You good? Yeah. You good? Chilling? You good? Yeah. Say, get off your chest. No, I'm just to the messing. baby. I was <laughs> if you're listening. <laughs> no, no, if you're listening. <laughs> now, it's kind of like what I showed you earlier on the way here. Um, that song by Big Sean, it says, if it, costs, if it costs me my peace of mind, then it's too expensive. Mm-hmm. So for me... If you come into my life trying to sabotage my peace, I will protect it at all costs. Just don't be surprised when I'm unreachable to you, when I'm unattainable no mm. more. I'm not willing to. I work too hard to get to what I'm at now. And my peace of mind, my mental state. If you're coming into my life and you're about to disrupt this, I'm sorry. I got to protect me because no one's going to protect me. Not in that way. Right? Oh, you change. Oh, you feel it's Okay. I need to be okay because I know I need to function and kind of bring everything back. I know everything that I'm a part of needs me there at 100%. And if I'm putting effort into someone that's going to ruin that peace of mind that I have, sorry. It's like I needed to change for the better. Yeah. Like I, if you're not constantly evolving a better version of yourself, people are going to see, oh, you just changed. But no, I changed for the better. For yeah. You. Whatever, whatever case it is, right? You should have seen me a couple months ago. Yeah. <laughs> How no, bad this bad was. Place, exactly. How bad this was. Now, because I did better, now I'm at fault for changing? I don't know how that works. I don't know how you work. But, again, it's be surrounded by the people that want to change also. Not, not around people that want to stay the same the way they were the year before and the year before that. And complaining about the situations that they're in. I'm sorry. 
we're not there no more. But life, someone told me, there's one thing that never says sorry or nunca perdona. What is that? Time. Time will never feel bad for you. It's going to keep on going, going to keep on taking. So what are you doing with that time? Well, I'm moving and trying to better myself. I may take a little longer, but I know I'm working towards a better tomorrow. And I think everybody on this table is doing that in their own sort of way. We're just lucky enough to put it all together in one video for everybody to watch. And sorry, but not sorry. You know what I'm saying? If you're not part of my life, I'm not sorry no more. You should feel bad for not being here. We, I know we said that before. So what does it take to be a part of your life? And it applies to everything, right? Relationships, friendships. It's, um, I said this earlier, and I, and I stand by it ten toes down. I, want, I need you to be an asset to my life, not a liability. I need you to hold your own in whatever way you need to. And if I come into your life, I'll add to that, to that lifestyle or the motivation, the mental check-ins. But if I got to worry about you and what you got going on, because you don't want to take care of it, I got to go. I got to go because I need, I, need, I need winners. You know what I mean? And we're all winners. It just it looks different. You know what I mean? Like, we're all winners in different areas. So in order, to be, in order for you to be in my life, you need to be an asset, not a liability. I what can't do you, deal with that. That's, I have too much to lose now. What do you consider an asset and a liability? A lot of people don't know the difference. And who? I'm just kidding. Just, <laughs> don't even who start with the who. I said what? 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 How about, said, can we said, switch said, positions real quick? <laughs> no. Um, Define it and then explain what he looked like. <laughs> How All he's going to say like. is females. <laughs> How they look like. In this table. Oh, I'm just kidding. I love We're you. starting now. We're starting now. I'm down. I'm just hating because you are. Uh, who here needs insurance that you need to buy? I got some. <laughs> Adrian. Adrian's insurance. <laughs> if you guys stay nah. farm. If it's raining and you have Adriana's insurance, don't go out. You gotta go out. <laughs> Unless you want to sponsor the podcast, then Adriana's insurance will Wait, up. does your new car have uh, ready insurance? Yeah. No, no, I haven't even got insurance for it. Uh, Girl? I don't know how long the, ins- the insurance hey, cut lasts for. I know. Like Girl. a week or two. Oh, it's only been a week. Bro. It's only been a few days. It's, like a month. <laughs> it's whatever you agree to. She drove in here off the lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She just crossed the <laughs> lines. <laughs> no. 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 no, bro, I don't be knowing shit like that. When I got my when I got my first car, I was eighteen, so I didn't like. She's a liability, literally. What does a liability look and, like? Right. <laughs> and and ECHP is watching. <laughs> But Get insurance but before then. Yeah. She's gonna have money. She's gonna have it's money. Right. We're gonna prolong this episode. <laughs> Two We're weeks. not gonna release this till about like three a month, a month ago. The end of the year. If, the it, year. if it makes a release, <laughs> it's up. been a great year, guys. Please We're tag twenty twenty five right now. Tag someone that you know doesn't have insurance or good insurance. God. Or wipers. <laughs> oh, what? dude, that one. I'm just a girl. I'm literally just, just a, girl. a girl, guys. Just a girl. <laughs> Bevy, go to go to question three. <laughs> You didn't define what an asset and a liability oh, yeah. is in your life, what it looks like. I feel like a, an asset in my life looks like you're coming to my life with value. You have already something going on. You have um, a resume, basically, of what you've been able to work on, what you've been doing, and you have the ambition to be better in yourself. Right? That's, to me, it's like, ah, oh, fuck, I can fuck with you. Like we're not coming together and we're talking about like how bad life is and how the world is not giving us an opportunity and not giving us a hand. Like, nah, fuck that. We're here to better ourselves. And if it's if no one's giving it to us, fuck it. We're out here getting our own. That's to me like asset and liability. A liability is someone that's just sitting in the same spot, not bettering themselves, staying the same every week after week, month after month. And li- literally bringing you down. Yeah. Like, it's causing you more harm than good. Yeah, like, hey, I know we only have $100 to our name. How about we go out to, out today and we fucking spend it all in one day? Like, um, well, how about we look into what we can better ourselves this week? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. something that's going to make us more money. Something that's going to give us a better tomorrow. Everybody complains about money, but no one's willing to put in the work. So it's like you're asking for a raise, but your work ethic has changed. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like. You know what I mean? And we've been around people that complain and complain about life. I'm sorry, I'm around winners. I'm around people that are getting it and like they're having six figures and they're still not doing enough. Fuck, I gotta, 
when I come to this table, I got to make sure I bring I bring the food. Right? It's a potluck. What are you bringing to the table? Are you just bringing a plate to get the food? Or are you actually bringing the food, the frijoles, so la carne, el pollo, la, la ensalada, güey? No one eats fucking salad, but Okay, we got to bring it. <laughs> Not you here. potato salad? <laughs> That's fine. Not here, baby girl. <laughs> Too many carbs, my boy. Oh, my God. That doesn't fit Damn the macros. <laughs> I become the trainer. <laughs> Plot twist. Plot twist. All right, what, what's your number three question? You've been getting some good questions, big guys. No, so. the number three question before we get started on, on the other part for, of the pod. What happens when those assets are your friends? That's one of the tricky <laughs> questions. What do you do when those assets in your life happen to be the closest people in your life at the same time? I feel like that's a good thing. Do you mean liability? Liability, sorry. Oh, yeah. no, I was like, oh my god! Let's, I'm like, that uh, keep them. Get that, keep keep that part out. Here's what? the business degree coming in. Hey, he's smart, smart. No, so it's like no. you keep them around you. I would hope. Oh, yeah, I was like, let them go. Let them go. Yes. I'm trying to keep us employed. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, keep them wrong. Yeah, keep them. Keep them. Keep them. Keep them. Yeah. Keep them. Keep That's what I meant. No. Okay. What happens when those liabilities are literally the closest people in your life? I feel like if they are really that close, then you're able to have those uncomfortable conversations. Mm-hmm. As in, like, hey, I'm not, not necessarily saying, hey, you're a liability to me, but like, hey, like, like you need to do better just for yourself. Like, mm-hmm. you need to work on yourself. Like, and then just lay out something that you may see that's wrong, right? Like he may be harming him, uh, they may be harming themselves, or your, or the business, or, or other people around them, and they don't even know it. It could just be self awareness, right? Yeah. But if mm-hmm. they are really that close friend, you're able to have that conversation with them, and then hopefully not take it the wrong way, right? Hopefully, Ho- hopefully, we can always hope. <laughs> what about you? What do you do when the people closest to you are liabilities? Because I think we all struggle with that, right? Yeah, I feel like lately, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. How do you deal with people in your life that are not giving you any value? Or you feel like they're holding you back from progress? And and this, and just because of like how you are and who you are, holding you back in bettering your faith, your peace, Mm -hmm. your mental health, and your business. Again, I just feel like I I talk everything through God. Like, if this person is really suppo- supposed to be meant to my, in my life, I feel like sometimes the people closest to you, can, the ones that you say, like, are a liability, maybe God's trying to teach you something that you don't know even within yourself yeah. uh, with this person in your life. Like, maybe it's not for you to help them, but their situation is helping you in a different way. Obviously, you can only do so much until you really can't deal with it anymore and i feel like that's when you have to be like i have to take a step away and then all i can do is pray for you like that's it but i do feel like i'm the type of person to give people a lot of opportunities in my life and i don't really try to cut people off just because i'm like damn we're all human we all make mistakes i've been in that position where i had a friend like sometimes i can't be around you because you're so negative all the time and at that time i was so negative you know but um She gave me so much love. Oh, my God. Now I'm going to (laughs) cry. Oh, my God. It's my first time crying on this shit. But it's okay okay because that's something. But that's so ugly. That's, uh, look, the amethyst is coming to save you. I know how the (laughs) wham. I had to. uh, You know, that's something you need to let go and you need to let out. mm -hmm. Like, you didn't even know you had that in you. Yeah. I know. (laughs) No, but, um. I think just, like, even in the time, like, me looking now back and when I was a liability, like, not like, yeah, like, I was in a very negative mindset. The people that truly love you will never see it that way. And, like... It's okay. We got you. All the air hugs in the world. We got you. We love you. Um... I feel like lately, I feel like I've grown so much and did so much progress in my life. But I can literally say, like, the last two weeks, I have been feeling like 
like I am becoming a liability a liability again where I'm like feeling down all the time and I'm trying not to be there but the one thing that my best friend told me and like I had someone tell me something pretty much the other day too like people are only around you until they really get to know you and that hurt me so bad because I was like it made me feel in that moment like damn am I really that hard to love like and I remember my best friend telling me this once and we were having a conversation and she was like you're not that hard to love she's like I've literally been with you for 10 11 years she's like if I can love you this way she's like Every, like so many Make other people you. can love you that way, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so that's where, like, I get that passion for other people where it's like, dude, she did not leave me at my words, you know? Like, at my complete words. She's seen it all. And um, that sticks to my mind all the time of, like, she's like, dude, yeah, I've been in your life for 10 years. Not once did I ever find it hard to love you. And, like, that felt like such pure love that I feel like I have never felt. So it's like, if if people can give me that, who am I not to give that to someone else? And you know, and that comes with also like knowing God and it's a godly love. Cause it's like, as much as this person might be like dragging you down, dragging you down, maybe it's your love that's the only thing that's getting them by, you know? So it's like, I try, to, I try not to cut people off and I try to just more pray for them and just show them love that most people don't show anymore. This yeah. world is so evil nowadays. Like, I just feel like give people grace sometimes. Of you know, maybe in that moment, but maybe you keep pushing them, keep pushing them, and then the next month they're flourishing. And they're the only thing that they're looking back now is like that when she told me like, stuck. like it's stuck. Yeah. You know, most people, most things don't go like. It comes in when out, out the either like people really listen they just their actions choose not to but when it starts biting them in the ass trust and believe that those words are going to come back thank you for sharing I that know. wow thank yeah. you i've been going through it guys <laughs> shit you have been going through it it's i think been, we all have been going through it we just don't speak <laughs> about it yeah and that's the thing mm -hmm. i think that's hold everything in and i, I think that's where like it um like again we recorded not too long, like a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't a good one for us. But then knowing that we have all these things that we have bottled up individually that we know we got to get out through and get to talk to. So it's like, oh, wait. So we all been going through some shit individually. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, the change. Who's ready for change? No one's ready, but... What are you going to do when it comes? Either you fucking let it walk over you or you embrace it and you walk with it. You know, it's it's a dark cloud that comes over our head. You know, not too long ago, we sat with our brother and he, again, confined in us for it. You know, so it's like, wow, you're battling to something. Me too, but fuck, we're still showing up for each other. I love you for it. I love you for showing up for me when you don't need to and you can't even show for yourself. But you're showing up for me knowing I need you. Why can't I show up for you now? Why should I make an excuse for not showing up for you? I love you way too much. I love you because you did it for me. When you had nothing left, I got you. So now it's like, what's better than money? Friendship. What's better than money? The love. True love. Godly love. Why? Because there's, there's nothing here we can give each other, materialistic, that we can't get on our own. Exactly. But you know what, what we can give is that true love where I don't need you, but I, I genuinely want you, want you in my we life. We talked about it on the way. I've told you countless times, if at any time I need to get dropped for the, from the pod. Every time. I literally tell them every other <laughs> week. <laughs> I would <laughs> rather. All the time. <laughs> and my thing is, I would rather get dropped from the pod because I know I don't really need the pod in a sense. Yeah. Respectfully, of course. Yeah. I'd rather keep the friendship any Anytime. fucking day. 100%. That's it. If the podcast is gone today. As long as I'm, I still got you as a friend, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm okay because yeah. that's all I needed when you guys saved me a year-ish ago. Yeah. You know? I just needed a friend. I didn't need to be on the pot at all. And you got four I just, of us. I got four of y'all. Blessings yeah. in disguise, right? It's crazy. I'm serious. I'm serious. She's from Walden Park. <laughs> of course she's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
crazy. I'm from Walden Park, of course. I'm like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. People are cheesy. And, I'm like, people are cheesy and shit, but it's like, yeah. I'll take the friendship over the money any day oh, yeah. with 100%. all you guys here. Yeah. yeah, I take the. I will always say the experiences we all share together mm-hmm. over anything else. You can't change that. You can't replicate that. You can't duplicate it because unless you were there, that's it. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what. What's your best moment? We talked about it prior. And when we want together, mm-hmm. can't change it. And it's usually behind the like off cameras too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when we don't hit the record button. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. It's always funny, huh? <laughs> it's always it's funny. one of those. Uh, hey, you better not record or close friends. I'm not on anyone's close friends list. I added you. I added you. I don't even use close friends. Everybody can see my shit. I don't even care. I'll post it for everybody to see. That's right. Oh, no one hiding anything? Oh, my bad. My location goes off every other week, but it's okay. We ain't hiding nothing. Yeah, bro, I can pull it up. None of you guys are sharing the location. I've never had your location. I've never had your location either. That's wild. Honestly, I took mine off because you guys were annoying. I was like... Hell no. Yeah, we're about to, to know where I'm about. I, I would say I would pull up to your house, but you have killer dogs, so definitely not pulling up. Yeah, <laughs> don't pull up. I have a few. middle You're about to get canceled. <laughs> She's a liability <laughs> dropper. No insurance, no windshield wipers. <laughs> <like that>. <laughs> How do you have a tail? Opie carry? Just kidding. How do you have a tail before insurance? I don't have tail in my car either. Oh, that's oh, a fishbowl. Oh, she has a fishbowl. I have a fishbowl. That's weird. That's crazy. I know. It, my, no, for real, because I seen her in the corner and I waved and I seen her waving <laughs> me back. I was like, girl, I'm not supposed to see you. I know. We're driving back from uh, the Julian, the Juliana yeah, yeah, yeah. disc. And I was like, oh, look at her. And you're like. <laughs> 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 I know my dad got my dad got his new truck. And I was like, hey, like, I'll pay for the tin, fool. Yeah. Like, he's like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, porque luego me para la... No, no, it's because when oh, he... Oh, his truck is black. When, when he went yeah. to San Francisco, I tended the, his old Yukon. <laughs> when he came back, they stopped. <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> he was like, ya ves, te dije, ¿para qué las estas negras? Eduardo, ¿por qué hiciste eso? Te dije que no lo hicieras. You know you're in trouble when they call you by the middle name. It's like, chale, rather not. But, you know, now I became a dad's chauffeur, so it's okay. Wait, do you guys all have middle names? Yeah. You don't have a middle name? You no. were in love? They didn't love you that much? Genesis was your middle name. Sega I thought Sega Gen- was your first name. <laughs> 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 it's Sega Genesis. Sega Gen. <laughs> no, I'm the, uh, you guys all have middle names? I do. Wait, what's your middle Honestly, name? Honestly, my name is long, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. What's your middle name? In real life or in fake life? Real life. Ivy. Ivy? Ashley Ivy? Oh, don't Ashley Ivy Martinez. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. De la Torre. Yeah, a toxic. My social security toxic. is. 6236. My cash app is Ivy323. For real. I need a sugar daddy. Wait. That, Honestly. What's your middle name? What's a Luis Na? Mine is. 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 Mine Nah, my, mine's Alexis. What's up, girl? Oh, Wait, okay. Jose Alexis? Yeah. I think we need that. See, I, I can't even. I don't Jose know. That's weird, huh? That doesn't match. I know. Wait, Jose well, Alexis? Alexis? I was I was supposed to be named Alexis by my mom, but my dad wanted me to get his name. Jose. Oh. Yeah, Jose. Jose Alexis. Jose. Yeah, so That's cool. Jose Alexis. Jose Alexis Censura. Bring that shit back. Please. Or Laura. <laughs> que venga el desgraciado. <laughs> Bro, I used to be like, same back in the day. Oh, my God. I was like five just watching. Tiger, my make sure you tiger. See, that's why I have a relationship with Pepe, because he's named after my dad, too. Jose Luis. Jose Luis. But my dad, my, my dad's straight by side. He, he uses his even his second last name. Jose Luis Verdusco Garcia. Oh, my God. God. I'm like, damn. Damn, that's crazy. That's long so you're the only one that wasn't loved? Did you get a middle name? Honestly, middle name? no, no, no. We gotta talk to your parents. Yeah. Why would they were Genesis? Honestly, so my brother's name is uh, my grandpa's name though. It's Eliseo, but everyone calls him Eli. My name is Genesis, and my last name is Long. This Castellanos, right? Yeah. So, um, and then my sister's Amy, A M Y. So they write Eli for my brother Eli and then Amy because so after me, my parents had trouble with me writing my whole name in kindergarten. I was like Genesis Castellanos. It's like twenty something. Yeah. Letters. So when it came to my sister, they're like, 
Keep it simple. A M Y. It's all sticks. We're good. <laughs> no, literally. It's all sticks. And my mom is like, because my sister gets mad all the time. She's like, because of you. Like, because you were dumb. You couldn't write your name. <laughs> That's I was like, crazy. Bro, they have, come <laughs> on, dude. You're going to have a five year old. Genesis Castellanos. If, if, if you have a middle name, make sure you drop it right down in the comments because <laughs> we want to know. Mm-hmm. He said he was a Q stick. <laughs> so I wanted a, a shout out everybody that answered and gave us your little backstory or scenario and they're not gonna lie through Instagram. So all our followers, shout out to you guys. Alright. <laughs> little wild, little wild. Wild. I kept seeing my ex lately. It's been three years. Part of me wants to say hi. Other part of me wonders what he would even say. Do you say hi or no? Depends. How did the relationship end? Yeah. Who ended it? Is it bad? Was it messy? Was it hey? I like, personally like, like, detail because me, like, I introduce myself to all my ex boyfriends every time I see them. Like hey hi, I'm Ashley. Nice. And to meet we you. can be like, let's say you're my ex boyfriend, right? And obviously you guys know that we dated, and we can be in the same situation. I'll be like hi, my name's, and I'll like shake your hand all over again. Okay. It'll confuse the hell out of people. It'll confuse the hell out of people, but I just do it because it's like it brings everybody's guard down. And then everyone's like so confused; they're not even worried about like the, like us being in the same room, kind of. Psychologically, it makes other people heads. like think like, "Wait, were they not dating? Like, were they not together?" I literally do it all the time. Do you think if guys see their ex, they will end up texting them at one point because, "Hey, I I seen you. How are you?" I don't know. I mean, I think it depends also how the interaction went. Like, if they yeah. chatted up, if they like caught up or whatever, well, and then she says he's she's he's been. She has been seeing him. And she wants to reach out, right? For three years? Like, straight? He doesn't know. I think he's a stalker. I think she's stalking. Yeah, that's kind of... (laughs) You know what? Or... If it's been three... Or God has been putting him in her place every (laughs) single time. Don't bring God into this. He's like, if you're reading this right now, it's a sign. Actually, I think God wants you to knock on his door. It's a sign from God. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at It's a sign from God. If you've been seeing him for three years and he doesn't even notice either, I feel like... It's yeah, time, I, I feel like if it's like it's been three years and there's no interaction, because yeah. a guy is gonna say, Yeah, hi we're gonna there say there something. Yeah. To, yeah. Let's be real. All right, of course. Check, check this one out. I just ended a relationship of two years and he's still asking me for to borrow money after the fact. I build him and he says, I'm showing my true colors. Wait, what? You bill him? Yeah, so she's they you ended the relationship of two years. Back. He's asking for money from her. And she charged them basically like, hey, pay me back. And now oh. he's saying, hey, well, you're showing me your true colors. Like, why are you charging me? But isn't that the whole fucking point of borrowing? I think the true colors like of that is that you're broke. Borrowing. Literally, they, they ain't got the green. <laughs> yeah. That's the only fucking color I'm trying to see. Yeah. Honestly, though, like, if it, I, because that honestly, I'm not going to lie, that happened to me. Where, like, I let someone borrow money and I know. <laughs> I I'm love her so much. Dummy. I'm like, give me that shit back. <laughs> No, but oh, yeah. what the hell? I'm like, hey, you watching this? You owe me. Wait, how much did you let her borrow? <laughs> no name spoken. No name spoken. No, 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 wait, that so was above, above 500? I'm not saying. <laughs> Lower than 1,000? Yes. No, that's like, yes. She's like, hey, next Anyways, question. Anyways, um, oh, over yeah. under 500. I'll answer more. Huh? More. More? 1,500? Mm-hmm. More. 2,000. More. She's got it like that. Come on. 3,000. Five, you let ten. someone borrow over three thousand hey, dollars. You don't need okay. a, you don't need credit to get a uh, loan from her. <laughs> <laughs> no credit check. No, no credit APR. Check. No APR. <laughs> just don't yeah. pay her back. How how long is our payback? Oh, like baby, what's the time? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Twenty five years. That's for crazy. Her. Okay, if I'm saying like a hundred, a couple hundred, I would say honestly, take your L. Just don't have anything to do with this person. It's easier. Walk sometimes. away. Yeah, it's sometimes easier to deal with the headache. Like, bro, you really need it. Sorry, I a know. couple I'm like, hundred. Bucks. I'm all rocking the like, table. <laughs> Damn, it's like you needed that money more than me. I'm yeah, chilling. like okay, you obviously <laughs> needed that. <laughs> Have you guys seen Love and Hip Hop? Where she goes, ooh, shaking the table. <laughs> nah, I don't watch. Any Never shows mind, like that. We're over here fucking tamborazo and shit, <laughs> fucking banda. She's not loving hip hop. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I need. We need. We need your bank. What, what's your bank called that we can we can ask for a loan? For real. Baby, we Ivy need a new camera. We need a new camera. Ivy Bank. Ivy Bank. <laughs> All right. Why is it painful to let go of someone even if they mistreated you? I blocked them already, but it just hurts me. I don't block people. 
Like, We've been through this, Jen. Like <laughs> articulate my words right now. Articulate. I think. Oh. Um, I think a lot of times people are. I'm not gonna say delusional, but they're in love with the idea that of this person. It's not really like the actual. Like they think about the potential or like the what ifs or the. Yeah, I think a lot of people are just more in love with the idea of them, or like they try to. Oh, I'm only gonna think about the good, even though they did cause me harm. Mm-hmm. That that's what keeps them. Well, and at the same time, when you're doing that, when you break up with someone, you're not only again like forgetting like the potential part of it, but it's also you're mourning an idea of, of your of your future yeah. with this person. Like it it wasn't just like his future; it was my future as well. Mm-hmm. Like you know, so you're mourning something that you thought was going to happen at the end of the day. So and it's, now it's a not. type of yeah. agreement. Yeah, because yeah, it's a type of agreement. Like, saying you worked so hard, even, like, for a career, and it turns out it's not it, you know? Like, you're going to mourn your future. Same thing goes on with the person. Yeah. I just feel like if you actually love love that person, you're not going to, one day after the other, yeah. not love them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, maybe they did do you wrong or, um, what did she say? Abuse? Like basically just mistreated or mistreated. mistreated you. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you still love that person. That's why it hurts, and that's yeah. why quitting cold turkey. <laughs> and is not just that, though, going really. out based off um, because he's saying uh, this person got mistreated. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even miss that person, but you miss that love that you give to that person. Mm. So it's not even like what yeah. that person did for me. It was more of like the love that I, I can pour them. into someone yeah, yeah. else. Yeah. Maybe that person's not able to pour that love into themselves and they're that type of person to just love everybody else and give, give, give. Yeah. When I have no longer that person to give myself to, then yeah. it's like, whoa, it's like, oh, I'm not loved. But technically it's like, you're only going to miss your own love because if he's mistreating you, he's not showing you love. You were the only one showing love. So you miss yourself. Get back to yourself. Bro, in, in 2011, I posted this on in Facebook. Oh, in my Facebook. God. Facebook. Oh, God. What was the mood? No. What was the mood on it? No, it's really sad, actually, because it oh, says... Uh, 2 a.m. <laughs> 2 a.m. It's complicated. Like, <laughs> 2 a.m. <laughs> no, I put, love's pain. It hurts more than any anything else in the world. Can't really. Look at that one. Oh, love. I've Did never been this? loved like that. I'm always a lover. Uh, um, there was someone that put, you know, shout out to you guys, whoever wrote this, but just want to thank you guys. You're all amazing people. Love your podcast and love the sweater. Aww. Shout out thank to you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, you guys want a good one? This, yeah, one's, yeah. <laughs> this was probably, I'm sure you guys, the girls have gone through this more. I think you've told me this before. Oh, Is it weird for your ex's situationship's mom to keep talking to you <laughs> and being homies <laughs> Given that the ex is not even in the picture, so if the mom has issues with her daughter, she mm-hmm. hits me up for advice. <laughs> my ex would hits me up all the time. She's my bestie. I'm sorry. She didn't invite me. So. You're still invited <laughs> to the carne asada? It. You're still invited to I the carne asada? No, so she ended up. She's not the one being the potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, she still hits me up to this day. Like, always messaging me. She moved, actually, she moved out of state. She's somewhere else now. I'm not going to say where, but <laughs> she she's even like, been like, you know girl, if you're like, if you're ever in town or whatever, like, if you ever come by, she's like, my house is open for you. All right, so, like, if, if, we need to go all right so if you're not, hold on, because in my head, I'm like, wait. Do you not remember what your son did? But in my head, I was like, you know what? I'm not like... It's not he's, your fault. He's his own person. Yeah. He was a grown... And like, I had my own relationship with um, yeah, yeah. with her. I still love her today. Still, like, every holiday, love you, miss yeah. you, have a good one, yeah. you know? Wait, so if you're dating someone, and say for, like, say a good a year, bringing around the family and everything, y'all break up. If your mom still reaches out to your, your partner, are you cool with that? Or do you need to tell your mom, hey, mom, corta le güey? It would be weird as hell, I think. I, I mean, like if you had words. another person in your life, yeah. I got my it'd parents' phones and block hell, numbers. <laughs> if you guys think my block list is long, my parents is matching. <laughs> <laughs> the same people are blocked. <laughs> the same they people block. are blocked on my parents' phone. <laughs> hey, just in case. Where is the number of this person? No, yeah. They blocked you. My dad the other day was like, hey, this person hasn't called me. And I was like... <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe she's busy. He's like, no, but she used to call me every day. And I was like, she's not going to call you no more. Uh, oh, I know who that person yeah, is. Yeah, we know. What's up? No, why would you guys not? <laughs> no, we don't. Ah, no. It's like, it's, it's know, me. Like, Sorry. Remember, <laughs> remember, I'm just kidding. We're, we're, we're in a relationship with Becca. We're not in a relationship with Ivy. 
That's different. There's two different people in there. Yeah, Mm -hmm. she's different. All right. How do you stop making excuses for someone who loves you? Can you repeat that? How do you stop making excuses for someone who loves you or says they love you? Damn, that's crazy. I feel like you... uh, uh, let me articulate again. <laughs> but see, in in answering that question, it's like you're making an excuse for yeah, that. That's what's yeah, crazy about it. It's yeah. one of those questions where it's like, I can That's only justify itself. you. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. like I can only justify your shit behavior so long. Yeah. Yeah. You eventually, you you're gonna to, you're gonna be tired of it. Yeah. Like, and you have to realize, like, you know what? Is that person even worth me putting up all these excuses? Yeah. Am I defending this person because mm-hmm. they deserve to? And in doing so, it's like. Fuck, I'm hurting myself. But even in that part, you're like a little bit delusional, right? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because in order to continue to make excuses for one person for their same actions, you got to keep pretending in your head that it's going to work or it's... Or that you're okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Like, oh, it's fine because... It's that person. For five days out of the seven days were good, but the two days were bad. But it's cool because... Because five out of the Yeah, because it always... Yeah, the good... Yeah, no. Then like... 13 yeah. point something percent, it's good. Yeah. Uh. Because and then it turns into like you're, you're being around your friends and like, hey, he did, he or she mm-hmm. did this to me. But it's like, why do you keep allowing yourself to be hurt in the same, in the same form, just yeah. showing you in a whole nother way? Mm-hmm. <sighs> and I also think sometimes you gotta, like, we're so quick to give advice and tell our friends, bro, leave them. Yeah. Like, are you serious? Like, how are you not seeing this, yeah. you know? But yeah, then there you shit. are in the same thing. So it's like, yeah. if you wouldn't want that for your friend, if you wouldn't want that for your sister, if you wouldn't want that for your future daughter or son, whatever, why are you going to do it to yourself? Max. That part. All right. This is our, our last one. Los vamos. All right. So said, hey, ATTL, I have a dilemma. I've been talking to a guy since three since three last year or three years ago, whatever, we've hung out almost like a couple. I found out that there was another girl in the whole time. I think that's his actual girlfriend. I intentionally was playing the other woman without knowing it. What do I do? You drop them. Yeah. Damn, it. though, three know your years? Worth. Know your worth and accept that that was a But that's what I'm shit, saying. Like, uh, the other time that I was talking about situationships, like, they're so emotionally abusing mm-hmm. that, like, at that point, you have to mourn the what ifs, the relationship that you thought it almost had. But it's also delusional. If you know that you're the side piece. Yeah, no, you want to be the side piece. Same. Yeah. Well, now no, no. that she knows, she knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that she knows. But honestly, again, you have to look at yourself. You say you were talking to a person for three years and nothing besides talking and acting like a couple. Something had to have a red flag after like crazy. three boy, months, boy, and you're yeah. not progressing. And like, hey, I actually want to. Be with you. Even if it's even if it's three, three years, years or three crazy. three years, it's crazy. Three months is still crazy. Three weeks. Nah, dude, <laughs> three days. Yeah, three I'm days. I need recently. that. After That's three crazy. hours. After three hours, I, I need to know. I need, I need to know if we're I getting married. Know. or not. How I many kids we're having? I need to know if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> What's your credit score? What's up? <laughs> What's your credit score? I talked to somebody that they same situation, but for five years. That was crazy. You. Oh, <laughs> I think you said you talked to somebody else. The math was a <laughs> All right, we have a la- sorry last question. This is a the best one out of the whole batch. I would like to know if Pepe Jose Machuca is single. If yes, I would like to get to know to. I would like to get to know him on a date. Aww. Give me the bottle. It's real. <laughs> I need water. Come through. We're gonna be at Caña tonight. It's real. <laughs> Sponsored by Becca. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, the rest the, the date will be sponsored by me. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. If that's the case, let's go. Yeah. Do Are it. you open to dating? I'm not looking, do and me, whoever me, I do me. go out needs to understand that my Bring priorities are going to be this school and my family. Hey, we they're going to. Hey, 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 we're gonna do, we're gonna do a speed dating. Yeah. We're gonna do a speed dating episode. Oh, <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> up. Invite like five only girls. For you. Let's do it. And five guys, for, ten guys. For y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And ten Hell guys for y'all. Let's do it. I They're just like need this. five guys. <laughs> five guys or five guys. The burger place. Yeah. Uh huh. They have good fries. Yeah. They have good fries. Yeah. I've only had it once. Oh, you only had five Maybe guys. Maybe you can once? take your date on. You know what? Five guys. Yeah, once. Once was enough. That's crazy. I'm going to far. Crazy. <laughs> oh fuck! No, but sorry. Speed dating or blind? You know how like? Headphones, but are you open to dating? 
that what you asked me? Honestly, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm not really looking to date right now. Honestly, my priorities are literally dating would fall last on my list of priorities, if I'm being honest. If you don't fit into my schedule, <laughs> bye. Pretty much. Just do it, that blind dating. Like, on I mean, list. it's happened before. I did it a couple weeks ago. Like, oh, you ain't got me my priority. I got my other priorities. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And so now I'm alone. You got, no, you, you I'm got like Ivy. I'm like Akon, lonely. You got Ivy. You got Ivy. Lonely. I'm also. I got nobody yeah. over my heart. It was what? on my That's own. Full I know. Get it right. Anyways. Gonna... <laughs> all right. Time for our coast, man. We've had a great podcast and great questions. Shout out through, uh, to Pepe for directing us in the right, this podcast. Then for the people that answer the not going to lie ones. Appreciate every single one of you guys. <laughs> Now it's time for our infamous quotes. The infamous quote? Yeah, man. We, we don't miss. Who's going to start it? We can gotcha. be replicated, gotcha. never duplicated. Right. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Seeing the perspective in life as in, man, I'm tired. No, you're able to get up today and do what you need to do. Like You just got to change that perspective, the negative mentality into positive mentality. Should I go? Yeah. Okay. Mine is people don't abandon people they love. People abandon people they were using. So that just goes back with the liabilities and the assets and everything. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is this slam poetry or what? <laughs> Kirby. The wind. <laughs> You're so it crazy. howled in the middle of the night. That's crazy. <laughs> you were howling in the middle of the night? <laughs> The wind was howling at him. <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh, stop. Right. Jen, serious? Jen, here we go. Um, Lock in. I don't even know. What up. Go, who go for you? Yours is good. Mine is good. We were all going through it, so I'm going to go ahead and just say it. If you don't heal what hurt you, you'll bleed on people who didn't cut you. It's mm-hmm. real. I can't take the credit. I saw that one on Instagram. <laughs> Shout out Instagram. Shout out Thank Instagram. you for providing those great quotes. Jen? Uh, mine... Let me find it again. My bad. Damn. Oh, it, was, it wasn't really a quote, but it was just more like... Um, it says, went from thinking I lost everything to realizing that the man above is giving me a new start. It's giving me a fresh chance. So... Yeah, I mean, that's that's basically where I'm in life right now, where I feel like people are either dropping or, like, certain things aren't working out for me. Um, and it's easy, to, again, to have that negative mindset and be like, oh, why is this happening to me? What is it happening to me? And um, now I'm just more like, okay, you take this away because you're going to give me something else or something else is going to come along. So, yeah, so it just, again, that mindset of changing, like, Oh, um, he's not ta- just taking away. He's, you know, opening up the doors for me. Wow. Huh. Oh, guys. Yeah. It's not poetry. I think it was this, um, yeah, how Pepe said. It's just we've been going through some stuff, and <clears throat> it's going to sound very weird at the beginning, but it's like I blame you. But I blame you for my happiness. I blame you for my motivation. I blame you for my good days. But I also blame you for being the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I love you through the good days. I love you through the bad days. When the sun is out, when the clouds are up, no matter what happens, I will love you to the end of time. So I apply that to not just, you can apply that to a relationship or a person or even your group of friends. That was like vows right there. I, know, I thought I was getting married. I, was like, Ooh. I, Ooh. Yeah, I, I do. Oh my god! What up? Did you guys see those vows where the girl, the guy was like, "And if death takes you, I hope that you, I, I hold you by the hand and take me with you" or something like that. I don't know. I seen it on TikTok. Like, it was hey, so uh, sad. You but need a yeah. reaction video on that. Come back Just and me, because he was like, "Yeah, and if life takes you by the hand, I'll be taking yours by the hand and following you." So it was no, something like that. It was so it was cute. cute though. It was cute. I was like, "Damn." In one another day. lifetime. One day. Love one day. Every lifetime. Oh, oh. <laughs> romantic! You're so cheesy. And with that, and with that, <laughs> end the part. The Ato pod? Salai podcast. This may have been our last podcast together. But <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This was so good, and I'm glad that this was amazing. 
And now so put it into perspective. One That's you, one. You know the difference though? It's because I was gone. Y'all I had good questions. <laughs> I forgot you weren't here. <laughs> no, I it? What? we, we, we kind of had to bring this energy because I forgot to say at the beginning, but yo, this is episode 150. Nice. <laughs> 150 shots right now. Porn. <laughs> Damn. Becca, run your tab, not mine. So, I again, I want to shout out everybody that has supported us through 150 episodes. For you guys that don't know, it takes a lot to even get to 20. It takes a lot to get to 50 and 100. It takes a lot to get one. <laughs> and to be able to mm-hmm. do it now for this long at 150 and still going, you know, I love... How I, I told Pepper earlier, one can do it on its own, but you can only get so far. But when you have a village that helps you and adds value to everything, sky is the limit, and there's nothing that we can accomplish. So I'm very grateful, very blessed to be able to have Genesis, Pepe, Jose, and Becca here on this podcast and to be able to complete 150 as a milestone. So yeah. shots on Becca because of her new job. So hell yeah. <laughs> 150, line them up right now. So, A to Life podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. Everybody fired. <laughs> <laughs>